It was time to meet the real mistress of the Stolen Lands, the one who'd been pulling the strings to create and destroy kingdoms for ages now. In due time. As it should be. We will prevail. Repent. In due time. Mm -hmm. They go down! Ah! Die! Your life ebbs low. Consider me provoked. Follow my lead. That is not far.
in due time. All according to plan. As it should be. In due time, I am prepared. That is not far. Focus on the goal. Follow my lead. All according to plan. None shall escape! In due time. Why not add some fire? Maestro Jonish? I'm here, my darling, to teach you another lesson. To stop being a slave. It's not enough to escape from slavery. Enough, like your jaw, Janice. Get to business. Do you see this key? It's the only way to open your cages. But there's a problem. After it opens one lock, it breaks. Only one of you can get out. Just one. So, you'll have to decide, my darlings. To kill the slave in you, you'll have to kill. Begin!
as it should be. You're here! You're alive! Believe it or not, we are too. Although we almost died. <laughs> we woke up in cages, with Maestro Janus standing nearby looking quite real. He set the cages on fire and tells us there's only one key and makes us decide which one gets out. But we both remembered how Janus ran from us like a scalded dog. And we knew that we could never be separated, ever. Each day that we spent together, and problem we got ourselves out of, gave us the grit and the skill to see through every deception. So I looked at Reg, and he looked at me, and the fire went out, and the cages opened. It was all Nyrus's illusion. She'd pretended to be Janush, but she messed with the wrong team. We didn't come all this way together to die alone. You and I didn't walk so many roads just to fall for such rubbish. With a leader like you, we can face any monster. Let's go, shall we? I can't wait to laugh in that green witch's face. That is not far. In due time. I welcome you to the house at the edge of time, my darling one. No need for two-faced hospitality. Toxic intent is no less poisonous when phrased politely. And yet I welcome you and would see you among my assistants. Oh, but why use words if I can show you? Your fate was decided before you were born, yet you chose to go your own way, as I once did. And you can achieve so much more. Look as if you're looking in a mirror. This is what I can make of you. A perfect face, a perfect spirit, a perfect warrior. I know how much power you have, Lady Nyrissa, but do not seek my aid in your war on the Stolen Lands. What perfect spirit would entertain betrayal? I serve the King. There is no price that could buy my loyalty. Then you'll vanish. Even the most beautiful flowers die. Such is life. Face me if you dare. I'll cut you! This is what perfection is worth. Her desires were vain, and her judgment was wrong. Know that I consider it an honor to serve you, and I won't back down, even in the face of death. Always. The cage you wanted to escape so desperately, my little Skylark. Kill me. Torture me if you want, Nyrissa. But I will serve you no more. I don't need your service. I only wanted to know. You, so devoted to good, could so diligently look the other way, while there was evil happening right under your nose. Shaythal, no! Stop! What happened? Where am I? In a place worthy of you, Inquisitor. 
Are you prepared to keep fighting for those who never appreciate you? Those who despise you and think you a monster? Oh, Saren Ray, give me the strength to overcome evil. Give me the fire to burn the disgusting undead servant of the fallen goddess! Bring me the heart of this useless creature, and I will give you new life in the first world. You found the way. Praised be Saren Ray. I. Both Jaethal and I fell for Nyrissa's lie. She fooled us with illusions and made us fight each other. And I was stronger. I never expected that. <laughs> I learned many lessons while traveling with you, and resilience was chief among them. Jaethal, Lacton. I want to tell you, this might sound cruel, but I don't regret what happened. I might have been driven by Nerissa's lies, but for too long I've turned a blind eye to what a monster Jaythal was, and how much harm she did. You've made it clear many times that indiscriminate forgiveness is not always the best solution. Well, I've learned this lesson. That is not far. As it should be. Ashes and dust, that's what this dwarf is. It would be amusing to find out how strong his faith is. Do you hear me, my loyal servant? What? What is this? Do I hear your voice? Oh, Grotus, do you speak to your servant in this lifeless place? It is true. Your time has come, Harim. Do not cling to this miserable world. Let go. Release your life. The Boneyard awaits you. I am waiting. Oh, I've waited for this moment for long. How comforting it will be to close my eyes and know there is no need to open them again. You believed in your death so much that you really died, Dwarf. Few can boast such powerful beliefs. Oh, it's true. I am sad to see that I almost gave in, taking her false words for the voice of Grotus. I almost felt the cold breath of the Boneyard. But memories returned to me of the feats we accomplished together. I remembered the lesson you helped me learn. Would Grotus reveal to me the true essence of the circle of making and unmaking, only to drive me from the world? I realized I had given in to a lie meant to take me from my path and prevent me from helping you confront our old enemy. 
Then I shook off the deadly torpor and awoke as never before. In due time. Follow my lead. In due time. That is not possible. Enemy approaching. I'll cut you. according to plan. We will be victorious! That is not far. Farewell. The horned hunter leans heavily against the door that led to the second floor. As if recognizing him, the door opened, allowing Nyrissa's terrifying servant through. He rushes away. 
the bodies of slain satyrs lay by the king's feet, but the hero's eyes were not fixed on them. A little further along, the daring, talented, restless Lindsay, loyal chronicler and friend, lay motionless on the ground. She was dead. Realizing what happened, the king... The visions of the house at the edge of time have revealed to the king the sad truth. Lindsay never betrayed him. She just wanted to find out Nyrissa's plans. Pretending diligently to be interested and excited, Lindsay asked questions and finally discovered that there's a special place in the house at the edge of time. A shrine where the apology was kept. A cup holding the dust of almost a thousand kingdoms. If we reach this treasure, the evil nymph will definitely not be able to hide from us any longer. The entrance to the shrine opens with three keys. The wriggling man keeps the first key, the gnarly witch the second one, and the third one is stored in a secret room on the first floor. To get inside, one must pass through the mist chamber in the underground part of the house. Upon discovering all this, Lindsay decided to set off and find the third key to help the king. But she was caught and murdered. I knew solo missions were not my thing. And then, standing over the body of his most loyal companion, the king thought, how is it that this very moment is being described in the book if the author is already dead? Yes, it's me, right here in the book. It's a good thing you found me, and that you can read. I've written all about the key, all right? You can find it somewhere in the mist, or using the mist. I, I didn't quite understand it all myself. You know, I was so scared when I stood at the door of the house and realized there was no one around. And then I got inside the book. This probably doesn't happen to souls often, even here in the first world. This is so strange. I can't decide whether it's exciting or sad. I've been thinking, can books read other books? Otherwise, when we defeat everyone and return home, I'll be bored. I'll have to live in the library. It's dusty and maybe you could put me in a display case in the throne room? I, I, I'd sniffle, but can't. Thank you for everything. It was such an exciting adventure. Please don't forget to take me with you wherever you go. I have to know how it all ends. Finish my story. It's too early to put a period on it. In due time. Don't hesitate. Give the order. Let's move already. Done and done. All according to plan. In due time. What are you looking for here, you pariah? There is no place for you in your world, and there won't be a place in my dominion. Get out, witch! When my friends find their way here, we'll pluck off your petals. Your friends? Am I hearing it right? You think any of them are still alive? Keep talking. I don't believe your tales. Why would I lie to you? You are the reason that everyone you care about dies. You get banished from everywhere like the plague. Your soul is poisoned, like an animal gone mad. I will leave you with that. Farewell. As it should be. Nothing. Just 
tired of waiting for you, Chief. That's what. This witch came by, tried to pour some muck into my ears. There's some snakes that, whatever they say, it's it's like a knife in your ribs. Like I mind. <laughs> keep going means keep going. I told you, you are my tribe. Together, we'll tear anyone to pieces. No one stands in my way. I won't be halted. All according to plan. In due time. Time's not waiting. Mama, so tired. Search was not in vain. Done and done. All according to plan. Follow my lead.
That is not far. Oh, look! I did as you asked. I see something. I did as you asked. Done and done. I've broken a nail. This is not possible. In due time. All according to plan. According to plan. As it should be. Time's not waiting. Ready for anything. Oh, my God. 
I will survive. <laughs> Calm down. I'm not dead yet. I've been taught. If someone annoys you, you either pray or polish your armor. That is why my armor gleams as it does. All according to plan. Uh, no, I'm embarrassed. In due time. All according to plan. Concentrate. Becoming distracted leads to becoming dismembered. I am prepared, as it should be. Time's not waiting. In due time.
A calculated risk. According to plan. As it should be. Running won't help you! In due time. That is not far. Our victory is In due time.
Follow my lead. I am prepared. Time's not waiting. I know what to do. Buddy. Run them through! I am yours to command. All this waiting, boys. I'm listening. I'm afraid of <laughs> <laughs> That is not far. Focus on the goal. No mistakes. In due time. Mistress punished me for failing to deal with you. And look, her favorites, the Nurly Witch and the Wriggling Man, have also failed. Think not of me. Did I not tell you that the shadows behind your back is always her? And the sound of footsteps in the dark, always her? Turn around. My hound. You have run so long to finally meet your mistress. You are still in my kingdom, silly child. And the kingdom is alive while its ruler draws breath. That's true for both of us, isn't it? I won't step back. Not now, when you've come to me yourself to fill my cup. You escape! Die! Out of my way! Do not alter! Repent! kingdom turned to dust become the thousandth grain for the apology <laughs> what would you have me do ask for forgiveness beg for mercy oh no I won't beg I know better than anyone what it means to lose and lose everything. I didn't ask the eldest for mercy as they laughed at my foolish boldness. I won't ask you either. You are my reflection. Just 
little luckier. If ever you stand before immense power sweeping away everything you care for, don't bow down, just as I didn't. Such a long time. So long that I forgot why I needed it. But you, why do you? Why do you want to return what I lost to me? What does justice mean in matters of the soul? In the games of great powers, in the beating of a living heart? It's just a word, and nothing more. If that's all that moves you, then forget it. I don't need this gift. Do you know what you're asking? I'm a prisoner in a game of someone else's invention, and I can't break the rules. If I take the slightest risk, the punishment might be terrible for both of us. On the other hand, I have nothing else to lose. Can you say the same? Oh, what is this? Hearing your voice was like hearing myself, bold and young, unbroken by the curse. I took a risk back then and was defeated, but must I continue to obey those who destroy me? No, no, you're right. May the Lantern King be gone together with his conditions. I won't ask for forgiveness. I will stay with you, my victor. We will see if we can rule the world together. You've truly, truly upset me, King of the Sand Castle. So much that I find no joy in playing the masquerade anymore. Are you ready to look under the mask? I am a voice from another world that you've heard since you first set foot on the Stolen Lands. A harbinger of doom and change. I am dust and echo, a memory of the past. I am the one who revealed to you the truth about the fallen goddess, who gave you the light capable of dispersing the mist. I am the one who began this story, and I am the one who will end it. I am the eldest of the first world. I am the Lantern King. You stoop to taking a role at your own theater. How petty of you, eldest. To drink without quenching thirst. To climb a mountain that has no peak. I staged the performance and you left it without a finale. You took away, Marissa, my precious toy, carefully crafted in despair and wrath. I could reduce you to dust, revive you, and turn you to dust once more, here and now. But the universe abhors an elegance. So instead I shall repay you with your own coin. How strange fate can be. A moment ago we were enemies. And now we stand shoulder to shoulder against a demigod. My kingdom is in ruins. My thousand-year journey is at a dead end. So why do I feel so alive? The Lantern King, he who cursed me in the past. Are you baffled? That's perfectly natural. 
Few can understand the games of the eldest, even I barely can. Our lives are toys for them, our fates a ball of yarn. To knit or to cut, to tie knots or make loops. Is there a difference? Can I put this vast abyss of sense into words? I'll try. The Lantern King likes performances. In one of them, you and I turned out to be the main characters. It's little surprise that he was watching you. He likes masks, hints, and vague words, the meaning of which is revealed only later. But he didn't like the end of the story, and he wants to rewrite it. That doesn't bode well for either of us. We've little choice but to go through the portal and find out what he has planned. Can't you guess? To your kingdom. The eldest is there already, with all his wrath. There isn't. But remember, on the other side is your world, not the eldest's. Each king is stronger on their own land. So let us go. If we've any chance to conquer the unconquerable, it is there, beyond the portal.